Hey guys, I'm starting my vlog in my closet because it's got the best lighting at the moment. It is currently about 6 p.m., <clears throat> so it's night time. I actually haven't been feeling well today. Had a huge headache last night that didn't go away till like a couple hours ago. My body was aching. It's just been a day, so I'm really happy that I'm finally getting out of the house. <clears throat> One of my friends, Jack, who's visiting from America, he's leaving tomorrow, I think, on Friday. Is today Wednesday or Thursday? Wow, I'm like confused with the days. <laughs> but he's leaving on Friday, he's leaving soon, so I'm gonna go see him and he wanted to go check out, he wanted to go check out Shimin Ding. We used to hang out there quite a lot. Um, I met Jack like in 2014 when I stayed in Taipei. It was like the longest time I've stayed in Taipei. It was like two months. And um, I made quite a few friends while um, I was here during that trip. And yeah, Jack was one of the people I met there and we spent a lot of time there, so we thought we'd go back and check it out. And yeah, so I'm bringing you guys along with me. I've been going to Shimin Ding since I was like literally like a child. So it's kind of always nostalgic to go back there. Um, but yeah, so this is my outfit. Let me grab my bag as well. Um, I'm just wearing this Zara dress I got the other day. I just kind of popped into Zara to see if there's anything that I could, um, that I was interested in. Usually I don't really like Zara stock in Taipei. It's not really my style. As you can see, I didn't bring very much with me, so I was just kind of desperate to find something to wear. Um, I'm wearing my Dior shoes. I wear these so much. I'm probably gonna, sorry, I'm probably going to repurchase them in a different color, maybe in the dark red, maybe black to keep it classic. I don't know, but I wear these so much. It's crazy how much I wear these, so probably gonna repurchase them. I'm wearing my Bottega, and then I'm topping it off with my Fendi um, headband. I wish I had Fendi earrings. I actually don't own any Fendi earrings, which is kind of odd, because you guys know how much of a Fendi girl I am. Um, but yeah, I don't have any Fendi earrings, so I'm gonna have to get some when I get back to London, but I'm just currently wearing these Louis Vuitton hoop style earrings. I'm wearing them on the opposite side so that it kind of creates this shape. They're supposed to hang like this. If, you, if I wore it the right way around, but I wore it the wrong way around, so it pokes out a little bit. I don't know, I like it sometimes. Anyways, I'm gonna stop blabbering because I have to get going, and I'll see you guys at Shimin Ding. This is Shimin Ding, guys. There's a lot happening. We actually walked away from the crowd a little bit, but we're walking back towards the crowd because we already made it to the end that way. Jack is just like randomly, well actually he's right there. He's walking, he's trying to find a restaurant basically. But I'm looking at phone covers. These ones are fun. Apparently this is like the new thing now. Like these 3D kind of, I don't know. <laughs> Like grocery stuff. I like this one. I'm trying to find this one in my phone. There's some like Yeezy style things. I don't know about those, but yeah. This is Jack. Yo. Yeah, what's up? What's good? <laughs> Wait, where do you live again? I forget. Uh, right now? Yeah, San Diego? No. LA. LA. He lives in LA. He's working at the moment. What do you do? Uh, software sales, you know. Cute. Oh, now how did we meet? <laughs> We're at the club. Yeah. Club. We're at the club. Yeah, he walked up to me and my friend and started chatting us up, basically. And now, now we are really good friends. <laughs> the best, man. You know, think about one one every day. You know, yeah. talk to her. Once her a letters. year. <laughs> I visited you in Lyon though, when yeah. he, he lived in Lyon for a little bit. Anyways, I'm waiting for them to get the phone case. Okay, here it is. So I've just stopped at this stall to get my friend some clothes for her newborn. I'm getting this set. How cute, Totoro. And then I'm also getting her... Tabichi. Oh, my gosh. I'm also getting her... I'm also getting her this Captain America one because she loves Captain America. Her car has this like logo on it, so I thought it would be so cute. There's like 80 million car machine um, shops in this area as well. See, this is where it gets really crowded. So this is kind of where we always... Ooh. So this is like the center of everything. So you kind of have to choose which way you want to go. Which way are we going now? That way? Yeah. Corner, they have a they have a movement for this. 
Well, there's a movement for that everywhere, no? You, is it? Yeah. Oh, that's just... Okay. So cute. This is where I've always gotten my ear pierced, at this place. He, the guy that does the piercing here is so amazing. It like literally never hurts at all, ever. Hey guys, so today it is New Year's Eve, Chinese Lunar New Year's Eve. And so I excuse my hair, I just washed it, I can't be bothered with it, so I just tied it up. But yeah, it's the last day of the year of the pig. It's gonna be the year of the rat next. I'm not really wearing anything too fitting actually, it's, it's a dog. I'm wearing a Loewe shirt with a dog on it. <laughs> um, it's not the year of the dog, but that's my year. I was born in the year of the dog. But anyways, maybe I'll change later, but um, I am just cleaning up my flat at the moment because we like to keep our homes quite clean for the New Year's um, to bring all the luck in and whatnot. Anyways, um, I'm going to dinner at my mom's tonight and I think she's going to teach me some recipes, um, some easy cooks for when I'm in London. So I thought maybe I can bring my camera, see how much I can film. Obviously, I've mentioned before, my parents are not very comfortable on camera, so I won't be filming them, but I will film kind of um, the dinner making process because obviously that's like the main thing for New Year's Eve. Um, it's a big dinner, so I will try and film as much as I can of that. Um, I also have gotten requested to share some red envelopes. The difference with this year and last year is last year I got a lot of designer ones. Um, that's because I'm, I was in London and in London I know the sales associates there more. I have more of a connection, relationship with them there. So I am able, I am able to get them. Or as in Taipei, I don't really have as many relationships with sales associates here. Um, only at Louis Vuitton. So I do have the Louis Vuitton red envelopes. And Kyle obviously helped me get some as well in, in London. He helped me get Dior and I'm waiting on Fendi. So that's all in that's all in London. So I can't share those yet. But I can share the red envelopes that I got in Taipei. They're really, really cute. I mean, I collect all red envelopes, not just designer ones. Um, I, yeah, I love them all. I think they're all super cute, especially because this year's the year of the rats. So there's a lot of Mickey Mouse red envelopes out there. Anyways, I don't have time to share with you guys that now, but I will do that as soon as I get the chance. I also bought some like small things at Ximing Ding the other night. I didn't film too much of it because it just got too hectic. We didn't stay for long and we spent most of the time just um, chilling at a hookah bar anyway. I got a new phone cover. Let me just turn on the lights. So this is my new phone cover. How cute. It just has um, the cause doll on it. And it says, seeing, watching, cause. So this is just from the night market. It's not like actually cause, cause, like branded. I don't even know um, if they sell phone cases. I have never checked, but anyways. So I got that and I got some clothes from my friend's um, newborn. He was born two weeks ago. I can't wait to meet him when I go back to Vietnam. Anyways, so I am, well, I just want to film a quick intro before I start the day and start Chinese New Year. I can quickly show you guys my outfit. Um, like I said, ignore my hair. But I'm wearing a Loewe shirt, my Topshop pants. I'll probably just wear my Dior sneakers. Um, but that's kind of my outfit for today. Also, I just realized I haven't shared my new island on the vlog yet. I definitely shared it on Instagram. But this is my island from my closet, obviously. I'm absolutely in love with it. I love that it's rounded. I know it's very like 50s, 60s, huh? Um, I love this bit here, how it opens like that. Obviously, it's completely empty. There's like kind of a tinted glass on top. It's a pushing thing, so you push to open the drawers. And then it's basically just symmetrical, same on the other side with the two doors and then the drawers on this side. So, um, so yeah, this is my finished closet. Looking very empty. I don't like empty closets, but oh well. Anyways, so I'll catch you guys at my parents' apartment. If I can film maybe a little bit of their apartment, I will. Um, I keep mentioning this, but my parents are very private, so I don't want to like invade their privacy, but um, yeah, if I can film little snippets of their apartment, you guys will love their apartment. Their apartment's more minimalistic, um, very open space, similar to mine here, but theirs is like more 
calm. My, my dad's office is really cool. He's got like, um, like a zen garden in front of him, Japanese inspired and all. Anyways, I'll show you guys later. So in my mom's kitchen, she's prepped everything already into bowls. We're making mapo tofu, potato and minced pork or minced chicken? Minced pork. Minced pork, a veg dish, and then egg and tomato dish. These are all my favorite dishes, basically. And she's also showing me how to make the egg dumpling that I attempted to do in London. This is, this is the proper way to do it, guys. <laughs> A little bit sour, mm -hmm. minced bit, pork. Minced pork. I put a bit of sour and a bit of a soy sauce, and uh, this is a, a concentrate of the uh, uh, mushroom mm -hmm. powder. So give, give a little bit of sweetness. Okay, and then some scallions, some green some onion, scallion. and a bit of water. That makes them well. Egg? It's just egg in here? Does it yeah, have milk or no? Milk. Okay, just egg. Okay. Also remember to keep it on low heat as well. Yeah. So those are all the eggs done. And my mom just put in the tomatoes with oil. And we're just gonna end up putting that in there basically in a minute. Soy sauce, eyeball it, be generous. Salt. So. Concentrate of the uh, fungi. No. Cheese. Mushroom. Mushroom. <laughs> concentrate this is concentrate mushroom by the way and then add some water and then we wait a quick view of my mom's kitchen by the way this is the dining area Isn't we just set up sorry yeah. Same yeah. And then lastly, we put in some scallion or green onion as well. And then we just wait for this to cook or wait for the water to evaporate basically. I'll take you guys up to my dad's office, but look at this. Very pretty. I thought it was fake, but it's actually real. Um, and then there's like just like a little decoration here, but let's go upstairs. So this is the view of the stairs coming upstairs. And then this is my dad's office, home office. As you can see from the floor, very Japanese inspired. I love this chair, honestly. Look how pretty this chair is, so nice. Anyway, so that's the desk. Nothing too special, but okay, I mean, it's a nice desk. But my favorite part is this. I feel like if we lived here more, uh, my parents would take care of the plants more. Not that the plants aren't taken care of, because we get people to come to take care of the plants all the time when we're away, but I'm pretty sure he would have like more plants in here is what I'm saying. Um, it's pretty empty, but it's really nice. It's like a little sitting area, a little chill spot. I don't want to share too much of my parents' place because obviously their privacy and all, but I just had to also share the bathroom because they have a gorgeous bathroom. Massive tub. There's the loo and then a massive shower, which is really nice. 
And they also have a sauna here as well. And then they have their home gym over here. Okay, I'm gonna be really sneaky and show you guys some of my favorite pieces in my mom's wardrobe. Um, this is her Taipei wardrobe, obviously, so she's got some of her stuff here. But look at her coats. My mom has the best coats. So this is Burberry. So nice. This is, what is this one? Hermes. Yeah. Oh, so pretty. I love the collar. Really pretty coat there. Um, this is just like a, this is a Celine, old Celine dress. I didn't know she had this. That's nice. And then she's got some scarves back here. Um, this one's on a low the hangout, but I know this is Fendi because I bought this with her recently when we were in London. Really, really nice. So I'm for t-shirts, Loewe. This is the same one I have, Fendi. Giorgio Armani. Here it looks like she was ironing this shirt. I've never seen her wear this one though. I don't know that one. This is a super old Balenciaga shirt. I have a couple things in this pattern as well. And that's my dad's side, which he brought my favorite Louis Vuitton sweater. I basically forced him to get this, although he wanted it anyway. So luckily we're on the same page on that. But yeah, such a cool top. That is a bit of my parents' wardrobe here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing a little sneak peek. So now we're making a dish that's on most Chinese menus. It's mapo tofu, it's like a tofu dish. So this should be cornstarch, but because we don't have cornstarch, my mom just mixed flour with water just to thicken the sauce. This is, this is soya sauce. No, this is the spice that makes oh, okay. you, uh, that's called ma, ma ming nam. Ma ming nam. Okay, so num. it's a type of sauce called ma ming nam. Is it? Nam, nam, nam your tongue. Oh, okay. And you need to uh, chili paste and that. Okay. And that's called ma. Got it. So then you have to add chili paste and this ma ming nam <laughs> sauce. Mm, pork with again green onion and then there's the tofu. It's diced up. So, starting with oil. Is this on medium heat? Uh, you always go for the low heat first. Low heat first. Okay. And not too hot wok. Okay. So then you easy to separate your minced pork. Okay. You just added in two chili. spoons of chili bean sauce. This is the one we use. Chili paste. Chili paste. Soy sauce. Looks yummy already. And then add in some water. Do you know how much you put in or just, just till you cover up the meat? Add in the tofu. So we can cover up the tofu. Okay, the water should also cover up the tofu as well. Yum. Teaspoon. We just added in a teaspoon of sugar as well, just normal brown sugar. Of course, we're making the rice as we cook with a rice cook. My mom just added more flour in because I wasn't sure if it's enough or not. So like I said, you can you usually you use cornstarch because we don't have it, we just use water and flour. It helps thicken the sauce. Green onions. So now this is the part coming in. Okay. So this is like the main sauce that makes it taste like mapo, right? Right. You do you slowly put that in? That's it. Oh, that's it? Yeah. Whoa, that was quick. Next up is potato. Starting with oil again, of course. 
my favorite dishes. I've definitely made this in London a couple times. So you put, again, minced pork in there. We love minced pork. So by now we can establish that Chinese cooking just involves soy, soy sauce. sauce. <laughs> That's where all our flavoring is in. And then it's time to add the potatoes. Salt, your tofu, not too much. And then you add the water in. And then we just wait for the potato to cook now to soften up basically. It's just adding a bit of pepper now. The last step is to add in the green onions. Ooh. Taste test the potatoes cooked. Ooh. And voila, done. Yeah, done. Last dish is the Gailan vegetable. We put in oil and garlic so far. Put the veg in there. And then she's gonna add a little bit of rice wine as well. Just a little bit. This one's super simple, it's just a simple stir fry. You can use any veg really with this recipe. Right, Ma? Yeah. And then a bit of salt. That's pretty much it. Voila for the rice. Dinner is served. Yum. <laughs> Check out how cute my mom's tableware is. So cute. <laughs> and then over here. And then here she's got her fancy tableware, which we were just using. So all Hermes. Very pretty. Okay guys, I'm back home now. But I just remembered I want to show you guys um, these flowers that I received the other day. How stunning are these flowers? And it came in like the most gorgeous, like heavy, very hefty pot. And this, these tassels, but the flowers are so stunning. The or these purple orchids. Purple is my favorite color, definitely mentioned that. Blue is my second favorite color, and this combination is just to die for. And I love that they have like these gold things as well. So stunning, this thing is so heavy though. I felt really bad for the guy bringing it up because you could tell he was like shaking. <laughs> Get into the light. Here we go. Sorry, guys. Um, so I'm just chilling at home for a little bit and waiting for my friends to vi finish their dinners with their families before we meet up. Um, by the way, I put these earrings on right before I left. I got these at the night market. Um, I really like them. Super cheap. They're like 200 NT. Um, and I can't remember if I've shared my new glasses with you guys. I got new glasses. I'm wearing contacts now. Well, not now, obviously, but I um, bought contacts to wear um, because I, I love wearing sunglasses too much to switch them out into glasses. So whenever I'm out, I'll like neglect my eyesight to be able to wear <laughs> sunglasses. Um, and it's just not been great for my eyes. I've, it's gotten worse. So I decided to get contacts. And yeah, sorry, my lipstick's also like off. I need to fix, I need to fix myself in a minute, but that's fine. Um, this is what I look like after dinner. <laughs> um, anyway, so while I got my contacts done, I obviously checked my eyes again and I decided to get new glasses. These are really, really bougie ones. Oh, I saw someone ask in my previous video where my glasses are from. My glasses are Fendi, the ones that I usually wear, are these ones, um, which I wear all the time. I do love those, I'll still wear them, I can still wear them. They're by Fendi. I'm sure I mentioned this before, but I've seen someone ask about it again. These ones are by Chopard. And they have, I don't know if you guys can see if I can come closer. They have some bedazzlement on them. Which is a little bit extra, but I think it's kind of cute. So, I don't know, they're kind of like really grandma style, but like the bedazzlement, I don't know, I just like them. 
so yeah let me show you guys the other earrings that i got as well from the night market i only got three pairs in total usually i kind of go ham but let me turn the lights let me also fix my lipstick So of course I'm wearing a TikTok I am meme. You guys know I wear this all the time. There you go, that's better. So the other two pairs I got was this pair. Which I thought it was really, really pretty. I love the pastel colors. And then I also got this one, which I was kind of like unsure about but I thought I'd get it anyway because it's so cheap anyway and these could be fun for an occasion and there are these ones they're nice and big and cute so I got those rhinestone ones let me just take my hair down because just oh isn't that isn't this the best feeling in the world when you take your hair down from a ponytail all day Okay, sorry, hopefully my hair isn't too messy. Okay, anyways, let me share with you guys some red envelopes, guys. My mom actually, I got my first red envelope. I haven't received a red envelope from like family, like from home here in like seven years. So I'm so excited. I got my first one tonight. Usually you get it like at the strike of midnight, but I'm not going to see them tonight, so my mom gave it to me earlier. Anyways, she gave me this box of Bulgari red envelopes, which is very beautiful. Very well packaged. And they just look like this, basically. And then they say Bulgari at the back. Very cute. So I have those ones. And then I also have the Louis Vuitton one, of course. Um, and they just look, oops, no, that was the right way around, like that Louis Vuitton. Um, and then there's, what does the back look like? And this is what the back looks like. These ones I am so excited about. They have elephants on it. These are my favorite for obvious reasons. I got these at the bookstore. I was like at the bookstore not too long ago, like two nights ago, and I spotted these, and I was like, oh my gosh, these have to come home with me. I don't own any red envelopes with elephants on it for obvious reasons. Elephant is not one of the uh, zodiac animals, but yeah, so I picked these up. You guys are going to think I'm absolutely nuts, but I am absolutely nuts. <laughs> These are all different, can you imagine? Ugh. Anyway, so I got a pack of twin star ones. Let me just move things aside. I got a pack of twin star ones, but then each one of them are different. So, like Asia just has the best cute ones. And then I got a My Melody pack. Again, they're all different. Look at the little mice, so cute. Uh, let me go back to the front. Then I got, the, this one, there's two of these, the same one. Um, here are some Mickey ones. How cute are the Mickey ones? And there's this one. And then there's this one, Blowing Kisses. So some I have two of, and some I have just one. I usually just keep two. This one is a Muji one. I got this a Muji because I was buying some stuff there. This one's super special. I kept in the packaging because I don't want the glitter to go everywhere with this glitter on it. And the actual envelope is like fabric. Really, really pretty. And then I have a couple of these little ones. They're all different. So cute. These little mice ones. And then we've got this one with cats all over. So it's not the year of the cat, but um, cat is a like a lucky symbol. I'm sure you guys have seen the lucky cat. So I got some cat ones. This is just a random, it's kind of ugly. It's just crate and barrel. It's a furniture shop. Then I got this one. These ones are really cute too. This one is like, you can see this cutout. So stunning. Then I got these two. This is like a plastic material. 
These ones are really pretty. I got these at the night market the other day with my, when I was with my parents. My mom, my mom helped me pick these out. So I'm showing these quite quickly because there's quite a lot to share and like I don't think all of you are interested in seeing them, but I love them. These are so cute. Then I got these monkey ones. My mom is a monkey on the Chinese Zodiac, so of course I had to get some monkey ones. Um, and they're all different. It's not that you're the monkey though, but they have, this one's my favorite one because the monkey's on the horse. My dad is a horse on the Chinese Zodiac and my mom's a monkey. A random Peppa Pig one. I got a little Nespresso one when I bought my Nespresso stuff the other day. Some more Lucky Cat ones. Um, I got these at the same, the, the small ones. I'm sure you guys can see the resemblance. I got the small ones and then I got a couple of the big ones. And then this is another Hello Kitty one. These ones. These ones are bunnies. How cute are these? And then like, I don't know what character this is. And then I have a bunch of Hello Kitty ones here, which I won't show all at once, but they are different. Slightly, but they are different. You guys thought I was done? Note, these are the smaller ones. I got this one at the night market. This is a different type of red envelope. I usually prefer traditional types, but I got this one anyway, you put the money in there. And then I got a bunch of these. I got these at Sanrio though. Um, so these were a little bit more pricier, but yeah, they're just, so they have an envelope at the back. And then there's the Hello Kitty ones. These ones I look like I've got two of each. So cute. This is um, Cinema Roll, My Melody. Um, was that Pom Pom Purin? No, it's not. Oh, I can't remember now, guys. Little frog, little dog, and then Doraemon. Super cute, and the Doraemon has a little bell on him. Um, so actually, those stacks are for me. They're all different. They're for my collection. I know I'm crazy. I have like the weirdest collection ever, I know. Um, but I also got a stack to give to my friends back in London or Vietnam, wherever, whoever I need to give to. So I got a little stack for them. And then for my besties, I got these ones, which are really special because they are made of um, this beautiful traditional fabric with the happiness symbol all over it and then some charms on it. So I got several ones of those. I also every year like to give my friends um, some lucky things to hang in their house. So this one is luck, general luck. And then this one is health, good health. So basically I wanna wish my friends general luck and good health and then wealth as well. And then here I have some more lucky charms to give my friends as well. Speaking of Sanrio, I picked up a couple things the other day. I thought I'd quickly share with you guys cause they're right in front of me. I got this little makeup bag. I'm like obsessed with pouches and makeup bags and stuff like that, I just can't get enough. I got this little pouch, a little My Melody pouch. It's like see-through so you can see what's inside. And then I bought these two. These are great for traveling. I always buy these for traveling. This one is probably the most useless one. I probably won't use this one as much. Although this one that I use on a different set, a Hello Kitty set, I put like my beauty blender in it. Um, but yeah, so I can put my, my some bath or toiletries in here. And same with this one. I just can't deal with how cute the little designs are. They get me with these little designs. <laughs> okay, it's Tuxedo Sum. Look how cute this is. He's in a little like denim pocket with a penguin. Anyway, look how cute this one says. That was way too much fun for just one day. I love that. Hey guys, ignore the noise in the back of you guys hear some water running. That is the toilet malfunctioning. And yeah, I'm waiting for someone to come over and check it out now. 
Um, I remember um, going on a rant about this, I think in my Chanel, like one of my recent Chanel unboxings where like in England or in London whenever something malfunctions, like you need maintenance to come or something, a plumber, they'll give you like a time slot of like the whole entire day basically and it'll be like a couple days from now kind of situation. Just want to let you know, this was an issue that happened like 5 a.m. this morning when I went to the loo. I messaged my mom this morning, she's called someone and someone's already on their way over to check out um, to help me fix this. Like, that is... That's what I'm talking about, okay? That is service. <laughs> Anyways, um, I asked in my last video and on Instagram if you guys had any questions. I thought I wanted to um, make this vlog more of like a Q&A thing, but yesterday I... Um, edited the video and it's already at 30 minutes long so I don't think I have enough time to answer all these questions but I'll answer like the bullet ones real quickly and I'll save some more for a, a different vlog. Okay so the first one's not really a question it says love your elephant collection. Let me know if you guys want to see more of my elephant collection. Um, I don't know I, I can talk about ele my elephant collection for hours like I absolutely love all my elephants. If you guys don't know I collect elephants. I think I have over 500 figurines. Um, I collect them from wherever I travel and obviously my friends give them to me but yeah if you guys want to see more of my elephant collection I'll be happy to share that um next one why did you move to Taipei or Taiwan I thought I mentioned that in my vlog when I shared the apartment but if I wasn't clear I, I'm still based in London I just have a place here as well because obviously I am Taiwanese and um yeah, my parents just wanted to give me a home here to come back to. My parents also have a place in Taiwan, but whenever I come back, I usually stay at a hotel, which obviously I'm, I don't mind that, but it's also nice to just have my own place, I can keep my things here. Um, yeah, so I just have a place in Taiwan as well for whenever I come back. I come back like once or twice a year. Have I been to Turkey? No, I have not, but it's definitely on my list. Hopefully I can go this year. Honestly, like I've been wanting to go for ages. I've been asking Kyle to come with me and um so yeah i need to nag him some more um someone said wish you the best smiley f oops smiley face <sighs> so i'm only answering like the quick questions how many siblings do you have i have two half sisters i lived with them for like the first six months of my life they both are based in type one um i yeah so i didn't grow up with them they are from my biological dad's side my biological dad had two daughters with a different woman before marrying my biological mom um, we have a really good relationship though. I'm closer with my oldest sister. They are like, um, my oldest sister is nine years older than me. Um, yeah, she, yeah, her and I were both Pisces. We have a long common and we hang out a lot. I'll be seeing her in a couple days as well. Um, I saw her already, but anyway. Do you want to have a pet? If so, what, oh my god, of course I want a pet. I grew up with animals. Um, my mom, she's a crazy cat lady. So I've always grown up with cats. Um, actually when I was adopted my mom had like 18 cats and this is when we were living in Taiwan so like that's what I mean crazy cat lady not Taiwan sorry Thailand when we were living in Tha when I got adopted I moved to Thailand with my mom and my dad and my, yeah, my mom had 18 cats um, and then since we moved to Vietnam we've always just had cats but I would love a dog I want a dog so badly but a dog is so much responsibility and I travel too much and I'm just away too much I'm out of the house too much to have a dog right now but honestly as soon as I can get a dog I will definitely get a dog um, someone also said your sister question mark, so I've already answered that. Do you speak Mandarin? I do speak broken Mandarin. Um, I think I'm like 70% there. I just need to like brush up on vocabulary. Sometimes I forget words really like I just like a simple word and I'll just keep forgetting and I'll have to Google translate it, but um But yeah, I don't know. Um I'm just also shy when I speak Chinese. I'm very slow and I have to think a lot, but if I spend enough time in Taipei, I'll catch on to it again. Um, your favorite luxury brand and why? Depends on what, like, for clothes, I love Louis Vuitton, we all know that. For bags, I love Chanel, I think we also know that. Um, I also love Fendi for, like, I mean, not as much as I used to. I loved Fendi when they were doing Monster Eye. I think I love different collections. It just, it really depends on the collection. Um, but yeah. One store you never buy from. Oh gosh, what? Like, there's so many stores I, not, I don't buy from. Like, are we talking luxury right now? Um, one store I never buy from. Well, I didn't buy from Bottega before, only recently, but that's because they kind of revamped them. Um, what else? Okay, I have to get back to you guys on that. I have, I have no idea. Um, do you visit Australia as often? Um, 
I did when I was younger up until I was in eighth grade. I used to spend all, most of my Christmases in Australia um, with my family, but um, after eighth grade, I think I my social life kicked in, got a boyfriend, traveled with him for Christmas and all that stuff. So um, yeah, I never, yeah, so I haven't been back in a, in, in a while actually. Um, I do want to go back soon though, like at some point, I do miss it. Um, if you guys don't know, my dad's from Adelaide, but our place is in Brisbane. That's where like we visit all the time when I was younger. Um, what is on your wish list? <clears throat> right now, I don't have anything on my wish list. Ooh, maybe um, a bag from the, uh, the, the, the latest Louis Vuitton Virgil collection. I really like the iridescent box bag. I don't know the name of it. If I can find it, I'll pop it on the screen. Yeah, one of those bags I would love. Um, let's see what else. Mm, wish list, wish list. I don't know. I'm not someone that has wish lists. I like that's why I never make videos about wish lists because I, I kind of just like see what's out there and like go to a shop and if I like it, I like it. I don't really like think too much ahead. Um, I notice you don't seem to carry any Hermes bags. How do you like the brand? Um, I have mentioned this, uh, I have answered this before, but I'll answer it again. Um, I do like Hermes. Um, I think I have more like ready to wear from Hermes than like anything else, or maybe shoes. I have I have a couple shoes, but um, their bags, the thing is, okay, I've mentioned, I've said this before, that I wasn't a huge fan of Hermes bags. It's grown on me. It's definitely grown on me, especially the, the, the tiny size, 25 Birkin, that's cute. 20, 28 Kelly, that's cute. Like the mini ones, I'm, a, I'm obsessed with those now. But the thing with me, it's like, like I said, with the whole like similar to the wishes thing, I, I like to go to the shop and just like look around and buy. If it's not available for me to buy, then like, it's like, I'm, I'm someone who thinks like, it's not something that I will chase for because um, when the opportunity comes, it'll come. Like I'm not, I'm not desperate for anything, if that makes any sense. Like some people, like, for like, how do I explain this? When like a new, like for example, if a new Louis Vuitton collection comes out and I like something from it and it sells out immediately, I am not so gutted because I'm like, there's always gonna be something else I want. You know, like the list will never end. Not that there is a list, but like I can come back in a week and there'll be something else that I like, you know? So if I miss out on something, it's I'm not like totally gutted about it. I'm like, okay, I'll just wait for the, like the next cool thing to come out. Also, I'm not really keen to buy from the second-hand market when it comes to Hermes, especially for my first one, right? I want it to be in store, I want it to be special. So if anyone can help me get a freaking Hermes bag, then I'd be down for it. But um, if not, then I'll just wait till like the time comes. Um, but yeah, I remember when I answered this before, I said, yeah, I just wasn't into Hermes bags. It kind of ages me a little. I still think it does age me a little, but I think it's still classic, it looks good. Um, what else? Uh, and I also said, oh yeah, for the price of one Hermes, especially on secondhand market, I can get like several Chanel bags and Chanel still like is my favorite. So um, if I had to pick between like Chanel bags or Hermes, I'd still pick Chanel. So yeah, anyways, what's the heck? Um, I can see from my bestie Gareth, he said, why are you so damn gorgeous? Mwah, love you, babe. Um, what's my dream job? My dream job, um, probably my dad's job, right? No question, one to say, I love your content. Jouis de vivre and how you stay true to yourself. Thank you, babe. Caroline, thank you, Caroline. And let's see, last question. Do you have a boyfriend? <laughs> uh, technically, no. Anyways, all right, guys, I'm gonna end it here because it's gonna get super long. I've been filming for 12 minutes already. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this mishmash vlog. Leave any comments you guys have down below. Ask more questions if you guys like. I'll always be, I always love answering questions in these like random vlogs and stuff um, to help you guys get to know me a little bit more because I know my content is very heavily on like luxury stuff. So I definitely want to share other sides of me as well because obviously there's lots of sides of everybody. Um, but yeah, hit the subscribe button as well as the bell button if you guys haven't already and want to catch up with me again, give this video a thumbs up. And again, wish you guys an amazing year of the rat. Very prosperous, healthy, loving, happy year of the rat. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys in my next vlog. Mwah. Bye!